okay about script based installations with this software distribution okay say example um, what do is a source directory okay here uh, maybe under software silver light okay uh, so if you look at the silver light okay okay uh, this is the exe file okay this can install with a command line option so if you just google silver light 64 bit how to install? Okay, if you simply you know uh, Google in your one of your reports. Okay, install okay. install command. So the command it says that you know slash q. Okay, so this is for starting and this for update. This for uninstall x. Okay, see you have an option to install <coughs> if it's a patch. MS patch okay white mode install is this one so what I'm going to do is okay once I find this uh, command option example oh, I have to directly okay of course so it's you know uh, quite uninstall you do and Q for Quite start. So some companies uh, they allow to you know go for a script based instance example or they want to uh, once this is you know executed script example what is the command we can you know use here which is a command called uh, let's see I'll write here uh, q can be used for quite more installation okay that's fine okay let's go here and I'll do is I'll take this okay paste here slash you this is the kind you know which we can use so what i'll do is i'll go and save okay save as so the source of this file this file source is located under d colon source okay and software so right, okay here all types i'm choosing okay this is there so i'm going to choose this as install dot bh BAT is one of the extension for the batch file. Okay, for example, then what happens is this simply executes this command. Okay, after that you wanted to stop some service. Okay, say example uh, net stop. Okay, uh, so then you know let's see. Okay, stop service name. So example uh, you want you know example let us test that command. Okay, fast to you know into your script. Okay. So it is stopping a service, right? Right. Uh, if you look at uh, the switches, okay, bits should be stopped. Okay, it is in stop state now, right? So let's say this is the one. Okay, sorry, uh, so, so this is already start, stop state. Okay, let's uh, exit another command called okay start. Okay, now it is starting. So let's see here it is starting. Okay, look like at this is successful. This command, right? So these two are working fine. So what I'll do is, I wanted for some reason once the uh, silver light is installed, I wanted this to be stop. Okay, clear. And what I'll do is, I'll save this. Okay, I'll save this as a batch file. That means what's a batch? By this time you know it. It's a batch execution. Step one and step two automatic executes. Doesn't care, you know. It puts that command, okay. So, what I'll do is I'll go to my software library, okay, uh, application management, and simply go to packages. Okay, I'll create a package called you know, Silver, okay, with script based, okay. I have them, but I'm just choosing the silver based, fill properly all those manufacture all those things, and just sure. Page which is in the source software silver light. Right. See, fine. Let me create a standard program. Okay, here will not here choose my uh, batch file. Okay, not batch. So you can say that you know install or, or you know install. Okay, silver light. Like, so next, next. This is quite common, right? You know, these steps are quite common steps, okay? So you would distribute this to, to 
your wired machine say example the example okay close then this is you know distributed what you'll do you would you know install this okay to human so in my case i should have it this is a special so i want silver like collection already with script okay I'm doing all systems example and the point of time uh, you know add the source this way set I have a DC okay I'll just adding this refresh my collection now that is my jump control I'm going to leave the domain control now, which is not recommended. I just tap. So, here I have script based. This is already distributed. This has a proper package. And uh, there's no deployment at this moment. I'm going to deploy to my test collection, which is uh, when I follow with a script. That's one step. So, I'm going to deploy that. Uh, required or ever. let's put it as available okay so that will come to know so the agenda would be it gets installed on my domain control let me start my domain controller computer it should be there already but I have shared let me share it <coughs> this is the domain controller okay so I'll just go to the control panel and I'll refresh Happiness that uh, uh, for this machine, okay. Once the port available, I should you know notify me in my okay. Wait here still get the software automatically. Closing, I'm sorry. Two minutes. So install that silver light, then it starts the service. Okay, that's a script based. Okay, just okay. taking some time. So that's the way of you know deploying. It is only the script means batch file, okay? You can deploy with your uh, with file, okay? If you have a VBS based installation, uh, here, okay? This is, you know, this is VBS based installation. This is, doesn't have anything, okay? If you have a VBS based installation software, you know, you can do it. Or if you want to uh, install the PowerShell, you can do that, okay? So, script can be anything. Or sometimes this bit of batch file can give a file, command file. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, you was, you know, uh, you know, how can I monitor? For example, if you're looking for uh, uh, some kind of monitoring thing with the CCM, uh, then it it goes to the uh, compliance manager. Okay. So with the compliance, what you can do, you know, uh, earlier we have created many, many things. Uh, compliance uh, in the cost manager you can create your different so for example the i i related one okay uh, this you know i eight standards for example okay i eight must be this uh, should be up ext file this version okay and the company tools you know you you want to some kind of you know, this would be there example. Exist. I must match with this example. Okay. So if this is not with this file, with match with this, 
that what I can do is, what is I can simply <coughs> uh, make you know critical. That means it's not following that. Okay, so that's another way you know monitoring. Okay, but the, I mean your question was you know whether can monitor something some kind of configuration. Yes, you can do that with uh, baselines. Okay, but uh, it can be remediation for purpose. You know what you can do is you can create a collection for mm, here. You know it is not remediate. Okay, if you want to remediate, okay. Uh, you can you know get a collection to target uh, IT installation package. These you know machines, critical security machines, uh, creation with that standard and targeted. What happens? It gets deployed, and after that, it will like, again it's based on your you know uh, seven days checkup for your complaint. Uh, you know maybe uh, every day or uh, whatever the configuration you have set it for your policy. Then it gets uh, evaluated. By the time you know it's evaluated, this would you know. Would happen. Okay. So, so what I'll do is I take it in the software dates related. Uh, software element related, there is no doubt. Yeah, yes, no. No doubts. 